Ashe, 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 Kaletha, welcome back to my channel, I see you Tarot. Okay, you guys, so as I was pre-shuffling, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Everything is going good for you, first of all, let me say that. But as I was pre-shuffling, we had the five of wands to come out. Now, it just came out in the last reading I did. So, I'm like, I'm picking up an energy of something being backfired here. I feel like somebody has been doing some type of spell work or witchcraft on you or throwing some type of jealousy or confusion spell. Somebody has been doing something to you. This could be somebody that was doing something to you for a while here. More than one person. I'm getting three to eight people. I just heard Amber. I don't know, the name could be Amber here. Or Lucas, Lulu. What in the world? But yeah, Victor. I feel I, something is backfiring here. Not only is something backfiring, but there's also this energy of fear. This I pick up a lot of fear. Like somebody is scared. I feel like a, like a, a I feel a shadow over me right now. Like an energy of. People being in, in freaking fear. Like they're terrified right now because they don't know what's going to happen to them. Something is backfiring here. Somebody messed with somebody of love. Somebody messed with, a, a, messed with a child, a person, a human being that is very, very light. That's very, very kind. That's very sweet. That's very, you know, giving, caring. And somebody came in with a with a demonic spirit over them, messing with this person. And now I feel like something is backfiring. But this person has no idea what's happening. But this person, these people, really, it's really these people. Because I'm getting more than one person with this. These people don't know what's happening to them right now. They don't understand. It's karma backfiring. That's what it is. I also feel like this reading is for people... The people that's doing this more so than you. That's karma backfiring on you, babe. That's exactly what it is. All the things that you did to this person. All the things that you've done to people. Somebody has, you have been doing things to more than one person. And that's what this is. Before I keep pulling from the tarot, I want to get some from my deck on this five of wands. What is this five of wands energy that I'm picking up on right now? Spirit, ancestors, angels, as you please come in and put your love and light over us at this time. I say, I say, I say. Please put your love and light over us at this time. Please put your protection over us. If there's anybody that's in spell work my way, either out my way, as you please send it back to them tenfold in the name of love. I say, I say, I say. Oh, look at that. Send them love from afar. Oh, and Leo right behind it. Oh, my goodness. The star seed. Oh, babe. It's literally giving the energy of sex. So you could be a Leo here. You could be a Leo here and somebody is literally, they're obsessed with you. They're obsessed with you. Are you just embodying boss energy? A lot of confidence about yourself. A lot of self-esteem. But Spirit says send these people love from afar. Send them love from afar. Don't give them your energy, though. Don't give them your power. But just do what you were sent here to do. You are a being of love. You're very peaceful. You're very kind. That's what you do. You love on people. Even the ones that have done something to you, you can love on these people from afar. You're not holding no grudges. You're not holding no resentment. You don't do those things. You learn your lessons and you keep moving. That's what these people don't realize. That's what they don't get. What is this five of wands energy at this time, Spirit? Thank you. I say. Yeah, I'm picking up on a lot of um, dark energy here. A lot of dark energy here. Oh, we, oh my goodness. Chosen one just came out. Chosen one. What? what? And look, look, uh, prophecy. Lord Hammer, I didn't pick up on somebody that has been very, very highly misunderstood, baby. These people don't know who they messing with. They have no idea how powerful you are. 
They don't. Like, you're, you're very high ranking here. Very high ranking. Chosen one has coming out for goodness sake. I, look, look, motivational speaker and royal bloodline. You could be a motivational speaker here. Somebody that's meant to be in front of the spotlight. Meant to be in front of a crowd. You know, doing a testimony. Something about testimony. Somebody has a testimony here. Let's get some more. What else is this five of wands energy? So somebody has messed with a chosen one. Wow, three, three, three. This is three to eight people. Like I said, I was getting three to eight people. Three people had decided to come together and mess with a chosen one. Three people have decided to come together. I'm not going to take that. Ricardo just flew out. I'm not going to take it because I do not want to pick up on that energy. I don't want to pick up on that energy, but it, it has something to do with something that happens in your childhood. You've been a bruise. I feel like somebody made fun of you being a bruise. Like, why do, what? I feel like somebody made fun of you being a bruise. Made fun of somebody doing you, treat, treating you bad as a kid. And let's just keep it going. Let me get one more for this. Let me get one more. Three, three, three. God is with you. We got bad. See, so this, see these people are in bad energy right now. Trigger warning. Trigger warning. These people are triggered right now. You have three to eight people in your life right now. That's, but they're not in your life. They're, they're far right now. They're not in your life. But they're triggered right now. Because all that bad energy they sent towards you is coming back to them. A lot of people are in distress right now. They're really in distress. What is this chosen one? Can you clarify this chosen one for me, please? Oh, the king of pentacles. Of course, because anybody that resonates with chosen ones and chosen one energy, you are a natural born humanitarian. You are a natural born helper. You are a natural born leader. Naturally, you naturally have an energy of love. And a lot of people feel like whoever these people are, they feel like you was faking. Somebody feel like you was faking this energy. That you 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 you're not really no chosen one. You just pretend like you are. Seven fourteen. When I said that, they they feel like you was faking this energy. <laughs> That's crazy. They took your your intelligence, your enlightenment, your energy for granted. They really did. They messed with the wrong one. And look, you you know you don't care. Look at you on your throne. Look how look at how look at his face. You see how he just gracefully looking down on his throne, looking at what he ain't got no watch on his hand, but baby, he's just looking. He's looking at the watch, feet kicked up, not worried. Cause you already know you're standing in your energy right now. You're standing in your power. You know that you're a chosen one. You know that you was a you are natural born leader. You know that you are meant to rise. You're the phoenix rising right now. The phoenix is literally rising. You're literally rising. You're rising. And like I said in my last video, all that energy that people have sent towards people that resonate with chosen one energy, all that energy that people have been sending to chosen one's ways, it's coming back to them. Mercury Registrate is about to come knocking at a lot of people's door right now. So some people, they are already getting to visit. They are already getting to visit. What is this 333? Three people. Ooh, look at that. And the fact that we got three people in the picture, the five of swords. See, these people, they played a lot of mind games with you. People played a lot of mind games with you. A lot of mind tricks. Some, some people sent some mind magic to you, confusion to you. They heavily played with you. These people, some people purposely came in and out of your life. Just to make you feel like they wasn't really there for you. Just to make you feel down. Just to put you in the energy of feeling bad. Yeah, they put you in this energy of feeling bad. On purpose. That's fucked up. They put you in this energy of feeling bad on purpose. Somebody, no weapon form against me shall prosper. So, oh, somebody just said that. Some, I literally heard that somebody just said, no weapon form against me shall prosper. And what is that? That is a weapon. That is a sword. No sword formed against you is prospering. These people are battling with themselves right now. Somebody came together as a group to mess with you, to mess with your love and energy because they didn't embody this, because they still live in resentment and hate towards the things that happened to them that they haven't started healing from. Ooh, it's a long road ahead, baby. It's a long road ahead. What is this bag? Can you clarify this bag for me, please, for my collective? 
I be down nine times and I get up ten. I literally just heard that. See, you, you can you can you can knock about a, a butterfly down, but they still gonna get back up. It's not going nowhere. Look, your your wings ain't going nowhere. That temperance, your wings not going nowhere. You are the butterfly, the phoenix rising. Period. You are a child of God. You are a chosen one. You was meant to go down this journey. You was meant to go down this journey. And these people were nothing but a piece of cake of a lesson. A piece of cake of a lesson. Another lesson to be learned along your journey. Because of, because of something much bigger that you were sent here to do. It gets bigger than you. Something about this, this three energy is coming to me. What is a three? I forgot what three represents in numerology. I think it represents love. Something to do with passion. No. I don't know. I'm getting something with this three energy though. Something else. Hmm. But we got the moon and temperance for bad. Yeah, see, a lot of that stuff that they did to you is backfiring. I'm sorry, y'all, but ooh, we got the Ten of Wands and the Eight of Cups. The minute you walked away, these people started, ooh, they started getting that karma. The truth started to come to light. It was you this whole time. It was you this whole time messing with my chosen one. But I already knew this, but I had to just get them to walk away from you. I had to get the truth to be exposed. I had to expose you. I had to expose you to them. Look at that clarification, Ace of Swords. Spirit exposed these people to you through your intuition. Through your intuition. We got the four of swords at the bottom of the day. You had to take a rest. You went into hermit mode and you rested. And that's when spirit started revealing. Look at the sun. That's when the truth came to light of who these people really were that you was messing with. Of who these people really were. What they was really doing to you. And so you had no idea. Some of you had no idea. You had no idea. Y'all gonna be getting phone calls about these people. I'm telling you, some of you ain't gonna be getting no phone calls about these people. But if you still like, if you're in contact with somebody that might be in contact with them or through social media or something, but get ready to hear the news, baby, because things are about to be happening. Some things are already happening. Some things are already happening. That just is what it is. Okay. Let's get some more here for you guys. Let's get some more here. I'm going to pull us off from the Solar Journey Day. See what else spirit got going on for you guys when it comes to this 501 energy. So I find it very significant that it came out. Like battling, man. I'm talking about people are literally battling with each other right now. First they came together to, you know, battle with you. But now they're battling with each other. What else is going on with this 501 energy? What else do you want the collective to know? Oh, look at relationships. These people can try to ruin your relationship. Or this is just signifying your relationships with them. They're in grief right now. They're grieving over their relationship with you. And how they did you. How they treated you. Yeah. This is a relationship between friends. A relationship between family. Take it as it resonates. But now, you are, now you're attracting those people who really, who really, really, really want to see you do it big, they really want to see you be happy, want to see you win, want to see you smile, that don't want to just come in and just take. These people are equal give and take. The people that God is about to put you around now, these people are equal give and take. You want to be around people that's in the energy of love like you are. Let's get some more. What else do you want them to know? We got denial. You are no longer denied, baby. They can no longer deny you. They can, they can no longer deny you because right now they're not even at peace. A lot of people are not even at peace right now. They're not even at peace, so they, can, they can't even deny you. They know this energy that's hitting them, these moments, these tower moments that they are experiencing in their life right now, they know that it's because of what they did to you. They know. They know. Ooh, look at the indecision just came over. Ooh, indecision and friendship. They know. <laughs> oh, my goodness. They know that they have bruised your love. That's crazy. These people know that they have bruised your love. There's no doubt in their mind where this energy is coming from. Hmm. Let me get one more for this energy spirit. What else do you want them to know, my beautiful collective? 
You finna be just sitting in the sun, baby. Change is here for you, baby. Change is here for you because you had the courage to stand up for yourself. You had the courage to walk away. You had the courage to listen to that nudge, that in your intuition, when your intuition was telling you, this person ain't for you. This person is talking about you. This person is treating you bad. This person doesn't love you. This person is a narcissist. This person just wants to use you. This person is about to set you up. You listen to yourself. That's what I'm talking about, collective. And you close out them cycles. What is this relationship? Can you grab out this? You close out them cycles, baby. Ooh, we look at that. The justice and the three of swords. What did I tell you? <laughs> These people are getting their justice, man. See, all them, all the, oh, look at that. They made you cry. They made you feel cloudy. They made you judge yourself. They stabbed you in the back, left and right. They did all type of things to you. They had you in your head, overthinking, sending you spells of confusion for some of you. Man, now you about to get your justice, baby. Now you about to get your justice. All that stuff that they did to you, but guess what they couldn't do? They couldn't break your heart. This heart is not broken. This heart is stained, but it's not broken. You want to know why it's not broken? Because of your courage. <laughs> because of your courage. And not only because of your courage, because you were chosen one. You was made different, baby. You was made different. Look at the eight of cups at the bottom of the deck. This change started to come in once you walked away. Now that you have walked away, justice and karma and balance can now come in. Because that energy, once again, has to go somewhere. Will of Fortune is destined. It's destined. It has to go somewhere. What is this denial? Ooh, we baby, they can't deny you no more. Look at you. Your life is changing, child. Look at you. You're celebrating. You're on your high horse. Ain't nobody tell you nothing. <laughs> you are smiling. Whoever you are, you are so happy right now because you, you've been juggling so much for so long, but you juggled it with grace, baby. You had your head up with grace. If you was homeless, you was homeless with your head up with grace. You knew that this was not the end. You knew that this was not over with. You knew that you was not meant to be here. No, not, 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 not meant to be here as in stay in that type of energy or that vibration, but not meant to be here as in for some of you knew you was meant to be there to learn a specific lesson, to get into this energy, to have the courage to get into this energy. Because, the, you know, the higher you go, the, the, the more, you know, that devil gets a little bit more devilish and devilish and devilish, the higher you go. But it's not really about being high. It's not really even about that. It's not even about achieving a goal or anything. You was meant to be in the spotlight. That's just what it is. You're a chosen one. This was destined for you. There's not even something that you're chasing. You went through all these trials and tribulations for a reason because you was destined for a bigger cause. You was destined for a bigger cause, baby. Things are different for you. What does this change? I understand that nothing can evolve without movement. Ooh, we nothing can evolve without movement. You had to walk away from these people in order for you to receive all the things that you was meant to receive and in order for them to learn their lessons. You had to walk away. And the minute that you walked away, I'm telling you, the karma started draining. It, it started raining down on people. I'm talking about it started raining down on people. Whoever did something to you. What is this courage? What is this courage for my collective? So I feel like when my camera just moving over like that, I feel like somebody destined to know what you're doing right now. They peeking. They destined to know what you're doing right now. Look at that. The page of swords and the knight of swords. They destined to know what you're doing right now. My camera just scooted over as soon as these cards came out. This is you on your journey trying new things, just trying to live your life. And